Hello dear students, welcome back to the Pharma e-learning channel. Uh, I have brought another video of the unit of question which is known as the filters and the most widely used term in the filters and that is known as the filter aid. So let's try to understand the details of the filter aid uh, as it suggests that the aid means its help. So this is one of the substance which is going to be help into the filtration. So let's try to the, go into the detail and understand how this filters, filter aid is going to be help in the process of filtration. Before I start my video, if you need for any of the tutoring or the coaching need of any of the subject or any of the topic related to pharmaceutics and the pharmaceutical technology either at the diploma level or at the B farm level or the master's level or about that, so please please contact on this email that is a pharma e learning at the gmail.com or you can contact on this number by the WhatsApp too. So now let's go into the details of the word filter aid. So as the name suggests, it's like a first aid, the same thing is over here, the filter aid means it's help in the preventing the decreased rate of the filtration with the time. Why? Why the rate of filtration decreases with respect to time? Because here the simple thing is there, as the rate of filtration, because as initially we start the filtration, the filter medium, okay, the filter medium is without the any of the solid particle. But as soon as the process starts, the slowly the deposition of the solid particles take place in the form of filter cake onto the filter medium. And because of that, the liquid will have to provide or the liquid will have to travel or pass through that particular solid layer. And that's why the rate of filtration is decreased. So what I can say that as the time increases because of the filter cake formation, the volume of filter that is coming out is decreases. So now how this filter is going to help? So the filter aid is going to help by either one or the more of these three ways. So it is basically agent consists of the solid particles and that improving the filtering efficiency. How did it go to improve the filtering efficiency? So if we are going to add this filter aid, uh, then during the process of filtration, then it will increase the permeability of the filter cake. Uh, how it can increase the permeability of filter cake? It will try to form a porous and the open cake and through which the channels are present and through which the, from the channels the liquid can easily pass through it. So this is the one way. The another mechanism of the filter aid that will prevent the plugging or the blocking of the filter medium. So it will try to prevent the plug or the blocking of the filter medium and because of that uh, the channels of the filter medium are going to be removed and through which the liquid can easily pass. The Third possible reason of the mechanism will be that it will reduce the resistance to the flow of filter. So by uh, about two mechanism by increasing the permeability of filter cake by forming the open and the porous cake and prevent the blocking of the filter medium, uh, it will reduce the resistance to the flow of the filter it will be there. So basically the filter rate which are commonly used, these are diatomite that is called as a castle good, for light purified wood cellulose and the bantonite. These are the four agents which are widely used. Uh, as a filter aid during the process of filtration and it will help in the preventing the rate of filtration decrease in the rate of filtration with respect to time. Now every substance cannot be used as a filter aid. What are the characteristics? The characteristics of the filter aid should be chemically inert. So it should not going to react with either the solid, liquid or even with the filter medium. It should have the low specific gravity uh, so that uh, the low specific gravity means the as you know that specific gravity is the ratio and the specific gravity is related with the term density density the ratio of the mass to the volume so it will occupy more volume compared to the mass so it should occupy the less it should have the less weight and it will pump for the more volume so i can say it's a bulk in nature uh, it should be insoluble in the liquid into which we are getting out the filtration and it must remain insoluble in the liquid and it must remain suspended in the liquid you know what is the meaning of the word suspender it must be free from the moisture and the impurities and it should be able to form the porous cake and after the cake is formed and from with the cake, if you want to remove the filter aid, it should be easily recoverable. Now, how the filter aid can be used during the process of filtration? There are the two methods for the addition. The number one, into which the filter aid is added to the feed or the suspension or the slurry to be filtered directly into the certain amount. So we are mixing with the slurry to be filtered. Uh, basically, you know the slurry is going to be that insoluble solid particles so of liquid. And by the process of filtration, we want to remove the insoluble solids. So here what is going to be happening that along with the insoluble solids which are placed in the filter cake, the filter aids are also going to be retained on the filter medium along with the insoluble solids. Number two, uh, we are generally making a suspension of this particular filter aid into the 
liquid which we are liquid which is going to be filtered means you know, the slurry is made up of a particular liquid we are taking that liquid into which we are adding the filter aid and we are preparing the suspension of that one and before the start of filtration on the filter medium we are spreading in the form of a thin layer and allow it to settle down and allow it to dry sometimes okay so what is called, called we are going to coat the filter medium previously so it is like a pre-coat layer before we start the filtration so now what is going to be happen let's try to understand okay so into this diagram so with the pre-coat this is given over here that is the shown it like like a pre-coat is like uh, shown by that uh, circle uh, that is a triangle and uh, the square these are the particles which are like a pre-coat while here you are not finding any pre-coat below so this is a slurry which we are going to filter okay and here look at these particles that are the, the the black particles that are insoluble solids so it is going to be retained over here on the top so we have formed the free rollers so these particles are not coming at all into contact with the filter medium and that's what prevented the blocking of this one while in this case if we are not going to pre coating then it's going to be come into the contact with the filter medium and they try to uh, block that particular filter medium and sometimes if more force is applied uh, or the more pressure is applied from the fit then it may also pass through this one so these are the two way of the addition of the filter rate will be there so if you like my video then please give a like and press subscribe to my channel also subscribe to my channel to uh, for more upcoming videos on the related topics various topics related to the pharmacy that is pharma e-learning channel thank you